Welcome back to our adventure. This will be the final video in this part of the adventure. But stay tuned because we do carry this route on as we go over Poto Mountain. Those videos are coming soon. Back to this video, we are leaving the bridge where we left off in the previous video. And we are heading up in elevation as we head toward Petit Jean Mountain. Our plans did get changed just a bit as one of the roads that I had mapped, thinking we was going to follow, had a huge tree that had fallen across it. Now at this time, it was raining pretty hard, and I did start to pull the battery power chainsaw out I was going to try to move the tree and Ashley said you know we just passed the road just a little ways back why don't we reroute she was were concerned about me being out in the rain and the tree was huge it was getting dark fog was bad and we were both ready to get off the mountain or out of the elevation so uh I did listen to her, and I'm glad I did. We backtracked, it wasn't far, and we uh, went up a different road. Although this road was a skinnier, rougher road, and that's one reason I had avoided it, uh, it was easier than taking the time to try to move that big tree. We did encounter fog, I call it zero visibility. It was strange how looking at the fog through the camera, you could actually see better than with the naked eye. So at the top of the trail, we have reached a higher elevation. And as you can see, it's rainy and wet. And this is what we're dealing with. We are going, we're creeping to try to stay on the road. And some mud too. And in some mud and we're trying to stay, whew, slid a little bit. We're trying to stay on the road. I gotta get out and see how bad this is. See where you can't see the road? So I tried different lights that I had on the Jeep. The Jeep comes factory with a couple of little fog lights and they just did not cut it. For me to see, I actually turned all the lights off and just used the daytime running lights. That was the best view for me. Since this trip, I have added fog lights underneath my license tag plate area and they are a dual light you can have white light or you can have yellow light 
So I haven't had a chance to check them out since I put them on, even though we have headed out again since then as we cross Poto Mountain. But when we did Poto Mountain, we did not have a lot of fog, so they weren't needed. So anyway, we do cut through this fog. Uh, at times, I was actually sticking my head out the driver's window so I could see the side of the road. And, you know, like I said, just looking at it through the camera and on video, you can actually see way better than it was in reality. That was just really freaked me out that there was that much difference. So in these fog areas, across the top of some of these higher elevation areas, we did run across some mud. And in the video, it does not look bad. But the mud areas were very muddy. They had been uh, some pretty deep ruts in them. And I knew the Cherokee Trailhawk could make it to it without any problems. But with it raining, I didn't want to have to worry about getting out, trying to work a come along. And uh, we also carry a hitch winch and a spare battery in the back in case I have to use uh, a winch, something, say we're stuck worse than a come along can get us out or traction boards can get us out. We do carry a spare winch and, you know, at least we can uh, winch ourselves out backwards if we need to. But I did not want to deal with any of that with the rain and the mud and the fog. You know, it just trying to uh, deal with those things when the weather's nasty just makes it way harder. So I went ahead and decided to lock the rear locker and swap down to mud mode. And uh, of course, we walked right through the mud. None of the mud was any issues for the tra trailhawk at all. Uh, in fact, the fog was so bad in some places, we really couldn't see how bad the mud was ourselves. There was a few times while I was looking out the uh, driver's window, I could look down at my tires and see that we were in pretty deep. But we made it through all that without issue and continued on to the trail. And as I said, this is the last video on this part of the adventure, and we do exit out to a main road. So I hope you all enjoy this video and enjoyed all the scenery that we shared with you throughout all the videos. Uh, there were several of them, and I appreciate everybody uh, that's watching all of them. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to go on this adventure yourself. Now I have noticed that Onyx Off-Road has four of the sections that we did in these videos up on the app right now. And they are working on getting the rest of them up. So if you run Onyx, you'll be able to see the blue trails that we submitted. And you'll be able to take this exact route across this part of the Washita National Forest. It's an awesome trip. And there's plenty of dispersed camping that you can choose from. We highlighted a few of the places in our videos. So... As I said, I hope you all enjoy the videos. I hope you can get out and do this route. And stay tuned for the rest of the route to uh, come live on Onyx. Now, some of the other portions are already live. You know, we do sections for Onyx. And then you can choose what sections you want to put together to make a route. And we have tried to work our sections out to where it makes one big overland route that would take multiple days if you so chose to put all the sections together. So stay tuned for the rest of those to come live on Onyx and you will see the route unfold in front of you as you look at the Onyx maps. So y'all have a good day. If you have any questions about any of these places be sure to uh, contact us or Leave comments and we'll do our best to get answers back to you. Now, we don't share coordinates to campsites or dispersed campsites, but it's pretty easy if you watch the videos, you'll kind of know where they're at. And uh, finding these places to me is most of the fun. Uh, you feel like you have accomplished a little more on your route when you find an awesome campsite. So y'all have a great weekend and we'll see you on the road.